everybody, Purple and Free here. I'd like to welcome you to my channel and I want to thank you for stopping by. I realize that there are a lot of Riker and Spider videos out there and I appreciate you guys stopping by my channel to see what I'm up to. So thank you. Uh, Tommy G and I have been riding quite a bit in the last couple months and that means videos. We're going to have some cool vlogging videos about our adventures and I'm going to do a one or two review videos about some of the gear that I've worn while riding. And of course we haven't done a mail call in a while so we need to have a goofy uh, PSP Tommy G and Purple on 3 video. You know, the ones that make you laugh because they're so goofy. Today though, I wanted to show you some of the upgrades that I have done to my 2018 Can-Am Spider F3 Limited. I bought this bike used in the fall of 2019 and I wasn't even able to ride it until 2020. So I have over 26,000 miles on it now and I've done some things to it to make it more user friendly for me. So I'd like to share those with you and um, see what you think. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section and if there's anything I can answer for you, I'd be happy to do that. All right, guys. Let's... One of the first things that I did is this small modification was to add these cool Can-Am stickers. You know, they're my favorite color, of course. Brian Ford sent me these. If you guys don't follow him, you should go check out his channel. I did a video on how not to install them, and you can check that out. So, one of the more recent modifications are the new LED headlights. Ordered these from Sling Mods, and Tommy G and his brothers did the installation. I was going to have a video, but I would have had to do a little bit of bleeping. <laughs> they also installed these awesome LED fog lights, which we ordered from La Monster Garage. These lights, oh my gosh, they give me so much more light, and I will turn them on here and show you. Um, I also have lights here and here that came on this because I did buy this used. Um, I have 25,000 miles on it. It came with, I think, about 3,600. So let me turn this on and show you how bright these lights are. Well, guys, what do you think? These are the low beams. But check out, I mean, that is a lot of light. You can definitely see me coming. So this is probably my newest modification. This would be my Baja Run Sway Bar, installed by none other than La Monster Garage out in Nixa, Missouri. I'm so happy to have this. Um, the links right here, of course I could get blue ones, they match my spider. The links are metal and the bar is stronger than what came originally on the spider. So I can take turns uh, faster and better. When you're taking turns with a spider, it's different than a motorcycle. You still have to lean, but with a spider and the regular sway bar, you have to correct a couple times in the turn. So this is a uh, this is great. I really love my new sway bar. Okay, this is also relatively new. And if you look in my older videos, you'll see that my GPS was over here, and it was like blocking the view of everything so now it's in the center of my handlebars and I like it a whole lot better there I can I can actually see it better there too also this year I have added and I did a video on this the short reach handlebars um, they brought the handlebars about two inches closer to me so that I am able to actually sit back and touch my backrest um, I love them. No more aching across the shoulders. Okay, this next one isn't a modification. It was a repair. So apparently there was an issue with some of the 2018 F3 models, the whole entire switch. Uh, we were in Virginia when my paddle shifter decided to not work properly. I lost reverse, which you can live without reverse, as most of you motorcycle riders know. And 
I lost the ability to downshift and I lost neutral. Uh, so once that was fixed, I got all that back. I also had been having trouble canceling this when I had to do so, my turn signal, and that works perfectly well for me now. Now, something I did learn that I hadn't paid attention to before, when you turn off the spider, um, no matter what gear, when you start it up again, it automatically pops into neutral. So that was how we managed to move it around. <laughs> Glad to have all those gears back. All right, guys, I absolutely love this bottle holder from La Monster Garage. It was easy to install. I did a video on it if you want to check it out, or you can watch his video. His is a lot shorter than mine. Um, that bottle will keep ice for over 24 hours. It's amazing. We've been riding in some really hot weather this summer, and I could not believe how long it kept the ice. So I love that. I also like the fact that it's there and not up here on my handlebars obstructing my view. So this is a cannonball seat made by Can-Am and I love how it looks and gosh it's really comfortable. I bought it used along with the bike and I've had some really long days on it and have been quite comfortable so I would recommend that for sure. I'm sure there's other comfortable seats out there too but this one is great for me. And aside from new tires this year, I think my license plate and holder would be the last thing. Uh, I was going to do a small video on this, but had a really hard time getting the old plate off. So there was too much stuff to bleep out. Now, that seems to be about everything, but you know what? I think I have something missing. Can you guess what it is? Okay, so here's what's missing. The Guardian Bell. And I won this from Goofy Bastard's 400 subscriber giveaway. If you guys don't follow him, uh, go check out his channel. He's got some great content. It says Biker Angel. And from what I read, you're supposed to put these at the lowest point on your bike because apparently that's where the gremlins come up from. I, I don't know, underneath. But Tommy G suggested, and I liked his suggestion of putting it up here somewhere where it can dangle. And it'll stay nicer too. So let me show you after I put that on where I decided to put it. So right there is where I decided to put it and I'll be able to see it while I'm driving and it kind of dangles like like an earring <laughs> well I believe that is everything that I wanted to show you that has been done to my spider that I can recall anyways I'm walking around here to see if I remember anything else I don't think so so if you have any questions uh, leave them below in the comment section or if you have a comment feel free to leave me a comment and I thank you so much for watching if you're not subscribed to my channel please consider doing so and always remember to begin each and every day with gratitude bye for now guys